Dun, dun, dun. Introvert power. Uh, I'm crazy. I don't know what's going on. Yo, this new book is not even a new book. It's but it's a relatively new book. Introvert power. For those of you who don't know and probably won't be able to believe it, but I am definitely an introvert. Uh, I prefer best sellers over best friends. I know that's crazy, but ever since I was little, me and books have been super tight. And I used to think something was wrong with me. I was like, man, I just always love reading books and reading books. And every chance I get, I'm grabbing a book. And anytime I have a problem, I'm in the book. You know, I'm trying to always trying to figure out what. I just always love reading, and. Uh, reading this book, and there's a lot of people out there like me, um, it, it just made some things make sense. Um, one of the major things, and so first let me define introvert before I even talk about the book, versus an extrovert. Uh, an extrovert, primarily, they get their energy from being around people. Like, they love to be around people. They like to be at parties. They like to network. They like to be out socializing. Uh, smiling, you know, they just, they, they talk a lot or talk more, you know, whereas introverts, we get our energy from being to ourselves. And not to say that we never want to be around people, because I definitely uh, love to be around people, but in, 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 small, in small doses, little tiny increments. Uh, and then, you know, extroverts are the opposite, where they love being around people most of the time and then being by themselves uh, in little tiny increments. So it, it makes sense because when I'm at a party, I'm, not, I'm like that guy who is like, I show up late and I leave early. Like if I'm there for an hour, that's good. Like I got my, my social stuff out the way and I'm, I'm ready to go home or, you know, read a book or go for a walk. Like, coffee shops are my nightclub. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's... Anyway, let's talk about the book, people. Uh, introvert Power. And uh, the reason why she wrote this is because this is a very extroverted society. Like, we, we definitely... It's like, you got to be out networking and, and socializing. Like, when you break up with somebody, you got to get back out there. You got to... You, gotta, you, can't, you can't be sitting at home by yourself... That's sad. You can't go to a movie by yourself. That's so depressing. Why would you do that? You know, and we don't we don't encourage uh, reflection or thinking or, you know, pulling yourself back for a little bit and kind of, you know, taking it all in and, and uh, observing, which is what introverts do naturally. You know, if I break up, I'm not right back out there. I, like, I got to think about what I did and what happened and what the other person did and what I learned from that. And I, I have so much going through my head. Um, and so this book is just is wonderful because it's made uh, what has felt weird to me now seem normal. And for some of you guys who are extroverts out there, you probably don't understand, but the book explains how like, I remember, like, even as, like, if you're a shy kid, right, then your parents always apologize for that. Oh, he's shy, but he'll grow out of that. Like, why can't he just, why can't him, well, shy and introvert, two different things. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Shy is our people who are afraid of being rejected by, by other people. So they, they hold back. They go, oh, what if they don't like me or what if they reject me? Whereas introverts, it's not that we're afraid of rejection. We just love being by ourselves. Like I'm, I'm fine being alone most of the time. Of course, there's a part where I like I need to get out, I need to socialize. I do stand up and I'm doing these videos. So of course, there's nobody is all of anything because then you'd be nuts. But we were talking about primarily, I primarily like to I like to work out by myself. I always have friends who want, hey, let me partner up with you. And that's good for like maybe once, and then I'm like, look, I gotta, I'm sorry, we can't, it's not gonna work out. So, uh, a couple major takeaways from the book is that, because, um, you know, I have a master's in psychology, and I didn't realize how introversion was a personality disorder uh, in a DSM. 
and that like if you're especially like you know you look at uh, the depression the commercials for like um, uh, the you know depression pills are you sad tired lonely at home do you not have friends blah 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 like some of a little some of those speak to introversion a little bit and and there's so many people now who are depressed because they're so busy trying to be happy and most introverts like we don't walk around like that you know like hey, hey how's it going and if we are it's because we we feel the need to out of societal pressure of like if you're not smiling then something must be wrong or like especially like you know like I have three sisters and you know I see how different guys talk to them and you know a lot of guys always like yo why don't you smile why don't you put a smile on that face like why can't why can't you just walk why can't you just what's wrong with this this is weird this is weird I get wrinkles real fast why does everybody need to smile? Does every listen? Get this book if you are an introvert. If you're an introvert, get this book. Get this book four out of five stars. If you are an extrovert dating an introvert, and you guys are not, you know, not connecting for whatever reason, get the book so that you can understand your introvert uh, partner better. Um, because one of the things as introverts. Like we don't argue, we don't like to get heated up. Uh, you know, we like to think and reflect. So sometimes people take that as either like I remember in high school people thought I was stuck up because I really didn't, I wasn't conversational and I wouldn't strike up a conversation, or or I would withdraw. Like when people ask me how I'm doing, I really take time to think about that. I'd be like, damn, how am I doing? But an extrovert would just be like, blah, 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 blah. you know, they they just they they come right out with it, you know. There's not to say that there's no filter, but they think out loud, and I need to be up in here, and I need quiet and solitude and stuff like that. I don't know why the color on this keeps changing. Uh, this this has gotten way too long as book review, but um, let's see if I can give you any more takeaways. Uh, um, we're depressed. Yeah, uh, I want to go back to the depression thing is that so many people are trying to be happy and feel like they need to be happy all the time, which then when they don't feel happy, they think something's wrong and nothing's wrong. It's a cycle of, of, of like the, of, we have a range of emotions and sometimes some anxiety is going to come up, some melancholy, some, you know, sadness. So, all those excitement, joy, bliss, all those going to cycle through. So we're so quick to take a pill. And actually in Japan, they, the, the pharmaceutical company, You're right in their face, and so people. going on it could just be because I remember like when I was a kid I was just in my room all the time and it was nothing wrong I just like being in my room 
with the books. I mean, or I was outside playing football. And it's not that introverts don't like conversation or talking to people. It's that uh, we prefer intimacy over group gatherings. You know, like I, like when I'm in a large group, I rather like if I can't connect with one person, you know, as a like to talk to three and four people, that's so bad for us a lot. But stand up comedy, you know, it allows I have enough energy to get on stage, give that performance, bam, get off, and that satisfies my social whatever. I, I think I'm getting way off off the track here. Get this book, people. It's a it's a it's a it's a great book. And I just got the other book that is a, a new release called Quiet, which uh, I'm gonna read and uh, do a book review on that uh, probably in two weeks. But because I've already I've read a couple books already, so next week I'll I'll have that book review up, and then the week and yeah, whatever, just Friday. Peace.